Today we would like to introduce you a very, very interesting new vehicle category. Uh, the company which is producing it is called Suron and uh, they are uh, called Light B, so a very light uh, little B. Uh, and it has two uh, versions. One of them is the sport version, the other one is the city version. This is for uh, normal public road use and this is a really sport vehicle for fun use and let us introduce them to you because they are a very interesting future picture. The main construction of the two versions is just the same. Uh, it has an aluminium frame just to keep the battery. Uh, both of the bikes have, let's say, the top downhill uh, bicycles uh, suspension elements. In the front we have two absolutely uh, adjustable telescopic forks with a travel of 200 mm and the rear central shock absorber has a 210 mm travel. The electric engine is in the absolutely down part of the motorbike and it gives the power to the rear wheel through a belt primer and a chain uh, secondary drive. As I'm a little bit oversized to this uh, electric sport motorbike and uh, my right ankle is still not healthy, that's why I asked a friend of mine, Tom, who is uh, much more experienced in off-road riding than I am, uh, to try out uh, the Suron uh, sport version. How did you like it? Uh, actually, first of all, I, I have to say that it's I'm, I'm really like that uh, that bike. Uh, the first time when you asked me that uh, just to test uh, this bike, uh, a bit uh, a small doubt about that. What is it exactly? <laughs> uh, but actually, uh, I think that uh, uh, it gives us, as it seems to be. So. Uh, it seems to be that uh, the downhill uh, mountain bike with the very powerful uh, engine and it is really so the weight of this bike is less than uh, 15 kilograms so uh, 47 or what, what is 47, the, 47 I think that is, is the, the, official exact data, data, yes. the official data and because I'm a bit more heavier than uh, double times close to double, <laughs> close yes. to double. and uh, that's why the the driving of this uh, uh, this bike it's a bit uh, strange uh, uh, mm -hmm. compared with the another uh, uh, enduro bike. even a small enduro in the, even because a small even enduro. the smallest yeah. enduro is uh, two times heavier than this one yeah yeah and the more important than the active weight and the passive weight because that uh, the the vehicle is uh, we can uh, count it as a passive uh, weight and the active and weight is low. a rider and it's very yes. low and the rider is uh, two times more than and even a thin rider is, is surely heavier than the than the vehicle yeah actually itself. that is the key key message that uh, that uh, heavier than the bike itself mm -hmm. so uh, it can cause that uh, very strange uh, ride on the terrain uh, especially uh, we can give the very direct uh, feedback about mm -hmm. the about the terrain about the position and if we do some mistake mm -hmm. it's immediately so body strongly, position mistake yeah, with mean. the body position ah. mistake it's immediately uh, gives back uh, the bad feedback about mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. you do some so mistake. you can learn the technical side of riding an off-road sure. motorbike better than sure. even better than with a small enduro it's the same things when you have a the heavy bike heavy motorbike like me in the uh, ktm 919 adventure and if you started to use the, the small uh, enduro, uh, the lot of uh, direct feedback gives uh, from that, that type mm -hmm, of bike mm -hmm. and you can use uh, when you ride in a heavier And bike. this is even more direct. And this is the really more. I, I never feel that uh, mm -hmm. the direct uh, feedback. Uh, How was the suspension? The... Was it enough? Because you are uh, close to 100 kilos, yep. which is, uh, let's say, the maximum uh, weight which this bike can carry. Yeah, sure. But uh, so actually, that uh, the uh, the wheel travel it's uh, uh, as you mentioned that uh, 210 millimeters, which is same like in my uh, mentioned uh, KTM 990, 990. Yes. and because of the weight it's much much more lighter than than the heavy bike, so it's it's really enough this uh, mm -hmm. uh, travel and uh, the setup of the uh, suspension it's it's really. Uh, fit for the fit although for it the, was not changed so it is the factory no, it's, setup it's at the moment is, uh, I, I do not be, uh, i didn't do that anything with it so 
I'm really happy with it. Bike. And what about the power? The power. How did you are... feel the throttle response and things like this? Uh, the first of all, uh, I, I need to use it. Used to do that. Uh, the, the behavior, behavior of the uh -huh. throttle. That uh, uh, it's not so direct like uh, my uh, previous bikes. But uh, so I not, think that not as a gasoline engine. Not as a gasoline engine, but I think that it's uh, just a software uh, issue. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that you can hack it and mm -hmm. uh, you yes, can yes, do yes. that. Uh, uh, the more uh, direct uh, uh, throttle uh, behavior. Was the power enough? Let's say in the deeper sand areas. Yeah, that was a a, a bit scared about that. Uh, maybe it's uh, not enough. It has uh, not enough power for the for the deep sand. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's much more enough than mm -hmm. any time, any situation in, in here in that area. Did you become less tired or more tired with riding it than, <laughs> than, with, the, than with the small or big enduro? But actually, that uh, because of the uh, very strong and direct feedback get from that, uh, the bike, uh, therefore uh, I'm a bit more tired than mm -hmm. usually. So you had to work more yeah, than yeah, with a heavier bike. Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, Maybe surprising really, for a lot of we people. We need to, we need to, we need to uh, do a really precise moving and, mm -hmm. and body position and uh, and other things which is uh, related to the to the riding the bike. And uh, yeah, but what I feel that it's uh, with this bike, it's like. Uh, uh, when I ride a mountain bike, a normal mountain bike really, with uh, really powerful legs. So mm -hmm. that, is, that, is the, that is the... With 200 Newton. With 200, 200 Newton meter per, per leg. Per leg uh -huh. yeah. So all in all it gives a, a real joy for even for a motorbike rider. And, but it is a different joy than, uh, than any, uh, any gasoline motorbikes. Yeah. And the price of the bike is still much less than, than uh, let's say, hard enduro yeah. or anything like this. Absolutely right. I, I agree with you. So that it's a really good, let's say, toy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can say that it's toy, but it's because it's uh, uh, it can give us that uh, really serious uh, uh, things that uh, really serious in, uh, uh, satisfied uh, ride of the terrain. Okay. So it's good. Thanks a lot for helping us. Thanks very much, Tom. For the two versions of the Suron is for different purposes. The city one is uh, really for public road use. Uh, it's, uh, let's say, not so uh, high speed use, but it can be ridden for minimum 60 kilometers. And the sport version is absolutely the greatest fun what uh, an off-road rider can have. If you like this review, please push a thumb up for it. In the description under the film you can find the link where you can donate us. If you do it, then we send all of our films before their publicity to you. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe for our channel and watch our previous films and reviews as well. Thanks a lot for your attention.